Hi guys, it's Yaya, and today we are making a 1% hyaluronic acid solution. This ingredient is new to me, and I am still experimenting with it. So this recipe was heavily inspired by Marie from Humble Bee and Me. She is a formulating genius and has loads of information about this ingredient. I will link her videos down below. The main difference between our recipes is that I am using a higher molecular weight hyaluronic acid, and I will explain more about that in details later. Hyaluronic acid is a polysaccharide and it is a compound found naturally in every tissue of the body. It has water storing properties making it a great swelling agent and lubricant. In most cases, hyaluronic acid comes in powdered form so you need to hydrate it using water. Usually 1% is enough to get amazing results. This 1% hyaluronic acid solution can be used as is as a serum or for easier application in another formula or emulsion. So let's get to making the 1% hyaluronic acid solution. So for the recipe, 95.8% is distilled water. So this is a very easy and simple recipe to make. Starting off with the distilled water, I am using 197 grams. This will be our main hydrating ingredient. Next, I am using one gram of Liquid Germal Plus, which is the preservative. You need this to protect your product from bacteria and mold since it is made up of mostly water. You can use any broad spectrum water soluble preservative. Finally, I am adding two grams of hyaluronic acid. Since this is a 200 gram batch, two grams is exactly 1% of this recipe, making the final product a 1% hyaluronic acid solution. As you can see, once you add the hyaluronic acid, the powder seems to be hydrophobic. It seems to repel and not want to hydrate at all. This is normal. Just let it sit for a couple of hours and it will fully hydrate. From there, you can just mix it until it is uniform. However, if you need to hydrate it faster or are making a larger batch, you can simply use a high shear mixer to speed up the hydration of the powder. On IG and TikTok, some of you had concerns about the bubbles. No worries, the bubbles will settle out and leave you with a clear, smooth solution. The final solution will be clear whether you let the hyaluronic acid powder sit or use the blender. I was in a hurry because I'm using the solution in another recipe and the bubbles did not matter in the final product. For emulsions, you can also just use a smaller amount of the powder. I just find that using an already hydrated solution is more efficient so far. Keep in mind that hyaluronic acid can vary due to its molecular weight. The molecular weight determines how deep the hyaluronic acid penetrates into the different layers of the skin. The lower the molecular weight, the further or deeper it will penetrate the skin. This will increase hydration and the plumping abilities of the hyaluronic acid. The molecular weight is determined by Dalton's and can vary from supplier to supplier. So make sure you know which one you are purchasing for what you are looking for. The molecular weight can also influence the viscosity of the final product and also it will determine how expensive the hyaluronic acid is. The hyaluronic acid I am using is the highest molecular weight and is the most viscous. If you were to use the ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, uh, your final product would not be as viscous as mine and you will have a different consistency as well. So keep that in mind. For its hydrating properties, hyaluronic acid is widely used in the skincare industry. You guys probably have heard about it before or seen it somewhere in your skincare products. Recently, I have seen it used even in hair care products. So I wanted to test out this ingredient and learn much more about it. I used it in an upcoming video that I'm excited to share with you guys, so definitely make sure you stay tuned. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Very simple, easy, quick video. Please like and subscribe and turn on post notifications for upcoming videos. If you like this type of video where I kind of focus on one ingredient, please let me know in the comment section. I believe I really like this short and sweet type of video and I can really emphasize and focus on one ingredient um so yeah you guys um i really hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye lying perfectly still like we have frozen time i don't want this to be over